Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Citizens of YouTube's Pastor Dow. A video I made about the uh, adulterous pastor and the adulterous woman, while very serious and comical at the same time, people are asking questions, what do they do about their mind, their spirit, their conscience, when they have partaken in adultery in the past or they've been tricked into adultery in the past by some ratchet woman or some jack leg man going around and trick somebody else in adultery. Let me ask you that. First of all, when you really truly have forgiveness of sin, when you confess sins, you forsake them. That's the idea. He forgives you of sins that are past, not sins that you continue in. You step in, repent, and say, I repent, I'm sorry. And then you back over committing adultery again. You repent, I'm sorry. And you back doing the same thing again. That ain't repentance. You ain't never had, most of you don't even, most of you ain't never had an experience of repentance. You know, true repentance is heart wrenching. I mean, it is gut wrenching. It literally rips your insides out when you see yourself for who you are. And you're talking to a man here who is acutely aware of his own imperfections. Are you listening to me here? And when you, that's most of you, you just said words. You ain't never had a train wreck. You have never really truly experienced repentance. Not no deep contrition, no, I ain't, because you, repentance, true repentance, godly sorrow worketh repentance, not to be repented of again. Once that Ruach, that Holy Spirit, he jump on you, he get on you, Woo-wee. And when he get finished with you, I'm talking about true repentance. I promise you, you ain't going to have a mind to ever go back and revisit that again. See, remember the Bible also said that Yah, y'all say the Lord, the Lord, he chasing those that are his. And most of you, you ain't never had any chased out. If you ever received a physical whooping from your parents, if you are a brother or a sister and you're your son or daughter, I promise you, he know how to get a hold of you. I, see, and most of you have never had that experience. You have never had that experience where the most high has got a hold of you. You would rather have somebody to tie you up to a tree and cane you with a bamboo pole. Than to, than to take a spiritual whooping and beating by the most high. This is how I know most of you ain't in nothing. That's why you need to come out of these churches. No, fools make a mock at sin. That's what they do. Are you going to at times slip or at times you're going to fall into some sin or whatever it is? Yeah, but it should be a slipping and falling into something that you ain't visited before. If you truly repent it, because the devil is always looking. He knows your weaknesses better than you do. Now, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. But um, if you're really, truly sorry for seeing you repent, you, you won't go visit that thing again. Not after you had an experience with the Father and his whooping post. Am I telling the truth, Saint? Yes, yes, sir. Man, God, boy, I tell you, these people just ain't never had, actually, they ain't never had no whooping by the most high God. They don't know what it means. He is... The creator of the universe. And all of a sudden you see somebody over here. Or you hear about somebody just broke down. I mean just literally broke down. Used to in the old days they would put sackcloth and ashes and, and weep between the porch and the altar. Today we laugh and go, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, y'all, then what did the pastor say? He said, he said, God has forgiven me like hell he has. Damn weasel neck boot licking pig eating. Anyway. This pork chop. Let me stop for a second. I get passionate about stuff like that. And then, most of you out there with this stupid doctrine hate the sin and love the sinner. That ain't what the Torah says. The Torah says you got somebody going to continue on in sin like this, you kill a butt. Put the evil away from you. Ostracize them. Set them outside the camp. It's got all types of disciplines. 
to you people have been towing around too long. That's the problem, many of you. And you're not sitting under a real true pastor. And most of you, you ain't got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, people will say, no, people ain't received no Holy Spirit today. I just got finished laying hands on a few people this Sabbath. And they didn't have to cry out for no 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. And what did the Bible say over in Acts 19? And when he laid hands on them, they received the Holy Spirit and they spoke in tongues. Ain't that what happened? Yes, sir. This Sabbath? Yes. I don't want to hear it. You be. And I ain't, believe me, I'm not getting mad at you that are truly, honestly asking these questions. I'm talking to these bootlickers out there that are trolling me. But for your answer, the sincere one, you can get the forgiveness of sin. And it's going to take you a little while to pick yourself back up, too. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while. Because you feel so unworthy of the Father's love. See, most people ain't never had this, this type of spiritual conviction and walk before because they are not any of his sheep. Now, let me address this one, too. Somebody called here this one, a white woman did. Do you take that note? Yes, sir, she's called twice. She called, she called today, too? It was yesterday and last night. Last night? Yes, sir. Go ahead and ask and explain in a nine, the situation, what was what's happening. In a nine-and-a-half-year relationship with a black man, her being white, he's, mm -hmm. he has abandoned and forsaken her for the black Hebrew Israelite doctrine, and he has nothing but hate for her, and he's throwing away everything they've built. That's a fool. What you need to do is turn the page and move on. You know, when a mixed multitude came up out of Mizraim, how in the hell can a mixed multitude just be the tribe of Israel? Huh? When they were just one tribe, then they were just one people, then one nation. You understand what I mean? I, I got it. We can mix with everybody as long as they black. Isn't that stupid? Moses married an Ethiopian. And they will call them a dirty, stinky African today. When they do it at Deacon Bell, yes, sir. then all of a sudden you can't marry a, a white woman. Boy, you Negroes, you out of your damn mind. You see, y'all people, see these folks be ripping homes apart. Be a seed, damn it, produces after its own kind. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. You can't take a seed of a man and, and insert your wicked little thing into a bamboo and come out with a bam man. I'm telling you, these folks are off the chain. It's so stupid. And most of you, you deserve exactly what you get for getting caught up in that stupid ideology, ideology and falsehood. What if I went to war and I saw me a nice looking Saxon woman? What does the Bible tell me I can do? Oh, that's right. Your doctor tells you you can't do that. You can't mix a woman with another name. See, you people, you're in trouble because you listen to the wrong people, and you're going to answer for it, too. Sister, if I was you, I'd turn the page and move on. I know that you're connected in your heart because your heart is constituted towards that one man. Now you're going to turn around and hate you for no reason whatsoever at all for, for the, the, the color of your skin being white. That is stupid as hell. What color was Laban? White, white. What does his name mean? White. And he had daughters, Rachel and Leah. Basically, they were Oreos. You folks, I'm telling y'all need to come out of this damn black ass false doctrine called the Hebrew Israelites. I'm telling you, they're blind leading the blind, and you both fall in the ditch. You know, I, I get so passionate about this stuff. This generation is so tough. You know, you know, 10 years ago, I, used to, I didn't used to talk like this. I got to talk like this because this generation is so cold, hard, callous, and cruel. It's so wicked. Sister, you just turn the page. I know it's a hard thing to do, but you want to do it. Make him give you a bill of divorce. And you be faithful to the Father, and he'll bring you somebody more worthy of your love and attention and, and uh, somebody that can cover you. Because uh, I tell you, these, these camps, say, tell me what camp it is, too. Tell me what I want to know what camp it is, too, so I can talk about them. In the open and blast all the sorry ass elders. All right. Anyway, let me go for I say something I might regret later on, and I have to be repentant. Bless y'all, King. <laughs>